and welcome to this video for XCOM Legends. For now, this game is still in a alpha version, it's a pre-release. And let's start with today's boss, which is a Sectopod on hard. Now, I will go through some basics for this boss. I will show you two different setups for this boss. And you will see I did play around quite a lot today with this. Um, and our top players, they do an amazing amount of damage. So I was doing an average only 1 million per ticket. And I can tell you by playing around, I made between 500k and 2 million per ticket. And you can see here, Jonasek, he did 3.2 million with one ticket. So we will take a look at the setup he is using. He was so nice and shared that on Discord. And we will take a look at my setup. As you can see, I still have a few heroes only on 140. 5 star, while Jonasek is already at the max with 166 star heroes. So let's start with the more basic setup. If you are like me and not completely advanced yet, what do I use? I use a setup um, with Uno as leader. So this is a skirmisher setup. I use this because I don't have so many heroes maxed out yet. And the skirmisher setup works with most of the bosses very well. Now in this case, I am using four skirmishers, um, all four that are existing, and I do add Echo here. Echo is more or less, for me, she's mandatory for that boss. Um, the reason for this is her basic skill. The basic skill will strip buffs from heavy targets. And for Sectopod, that is important because of the counter attack skill. Now, um, as said, if you are not so far in the game like me, you will have to do some, yeah, um, trade-offs here. And that is, in my case, the speed of my Echo is 122. The boss speed is very likely 125. I know it is faster than 122. I know it is slower than 127. I played around with this. So if my Echo is only a little bit faster, like 127, she will attack before the boss. And my problem is... My other heroes are slow. I don't have the gear yet to get them above 125. That means they will attack, attack after the boss. And therefore I had to put my Echo also to attack after the boss. I do only have one hero who is faster. Um, that is my Uno, even, as my, even my Galahad is slower as you can see here. So for me, Uno goes first, that is fine. And all other heroes go after the boss. And therefore it was important, you see Uno is 128, he will go first. Um, then the boss will go and then directly after the boss my Echo will go and will remove the debuff. Now... Another option, if you have the gear, let's take a look what um, we have there. If you do have the gear and can get your heroes fast, you can see here, um, this is a Mortis setup. This was changed later um, to the same um, setup that um, I am running now. But all these speeds are really high, 138, 144, 138, uh, sorry, 183, even 144, 139. Meaning in this case, all these heroes go before the boss. And of course, that works also very well. Um, now let's take a look how that looks like with my team, which is not as advanced. Um, I just spent the 100 Illyrium for you to go through this. I already have the last box, but um, let's take a look. So I do have the setup um, with Uno as leader for the attack buff 25% and 15% reflect. I do run Echo in the background together with Galahad because um, they are the most squirmish ones from these. And... Um, Let's go into it. Important here for me is I have to manually trigger um, Echo's first skill at the beginning and then at every round where we get buffs on the boss. Um, in between, I can run the um, fight, the battle on auto mode, but for these phases, I will have to switch to manual. 
to make sure she does not use her second skill with a cooldown in that um, phase. No fear, no so, unfortunately, it's a little bit laggy here. We see now something went wrong. I should have been slower um, yeah, slower than the boss. If not, then we can use the skill. Maybe That's down. okay. Um, in all other fights, this is set up. I was slower, but strangely also the boss didn't buff, so that is good. So we can just auto it now. That is perfect. And um, we will see, as I already used the cooldown in the next phase, she will always use her first skill. And that means she will remove the buff from the boss. Here now we have the buff. If we take a look at the boss, we do have the counter attack. And that's the one we want to remove as fast as possible because it does a lot of damage. Now, as you can see, I'm a little bit out of sync here, but at least um, I will be able to remove it after the first um, yeah, counter attack. And from there, what I will do every time I see a lot of buffs on the boss, I will disable the auto to make sure that I can use the first skill of my echo and therefore get the buffs from the boss as fast as possible and reduce the damage on my team. And if nothing goes wrong there, this will bring me somewhere close to 2 million total damage. Now I will not go through the whole fight because um, it would just take away a lot of HP from the boss and it would um, not allow the rest of our group to get the last chest if they want to. So I will just go to the first phase where we get buffs on the boss again. Um, that will come very, very soon now. And then I will stop it. So you can see here I already have buffs. What I do is I just click the auto button to make sure that sometimes it goes into that phase where the second skill is available. I will attack with the first skill and if I'm lucky I'm not getting resisted, these buffs will disappear. Now a good aim um, or a good focus value here will be to have around 100 focus or more. You can see this now really went very very bad. We have the counter attack on, we have um, also additional attack buff on. So that is horrible. My team will probably get high losses now because I can't change it. Um, I have to attack the boss unfortunately. So he will counter attack. Um, yeah, we can use a heal. That's good. That evades. And now I would use a second skill and that's exactly where I will use the first skill manually. Um, looks like we resisted again. So that is really like the worst case scenario right now. Um, the boss resisted many times, only now with a third time I managed to clear these debuffs. So um, very bad run, I anyhow will end it. Um, try to get as high focus on your echo as possible to avoid um, the boss from resisting the... Um, the skill one where we remove the debuff. So what I did use here, and still that is not the best possible gear. Um, I'm missing good shoes. Um, the focus shoes I have, um, unfortunately they don't have speed and without that speed my echo is too slow. Um, else before I was using also focus boots. So I'm at 110 total. Um, each of these focus sets does give you a 25 focus. So as soon as I get good focus boots, I will get another 25 focus, which will help a lot um, preventing the boss from resisting. So I hope that video helped you understanding the boss a little bit better, understand what you want to set up. As I said, um, everyone who debuffs should have a high focus um, skill. If you don't know about the skills, you can always go into the help um, of the game. Let's see, you go to the Geoscape, you click on your profile and then um, you can go to the settings and there's a game guide where you can get information about the skills and everything. If you have more questions, I'm sure we can make more videos. So as for now, I hope that video helps. 
keep in mind this is not the final game yet so if you watch that video in three weeks four weeks two months everything might be different i just make this video for all the people in my alliance to be able to perform a little bit better or have a little easier um, fight with that sectopod boss and till then i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video again